Think you can unlock that terminal? Yeah, if I were able. Should have this unlocked in just a... Open for business. Infiltrating Far Harbor. It's about becoming the human that synths drawn here need to meet. Reasonable. Willing to accept them as just another living thing. No greater or lesser than humanity itself. You'll be part of the bridge between our two worlds. That all vanishes the moment anyone discovers that it's been manufactured. That you're a synth. Did she have to die? The, the woman I'm replacing. God, she looks so peaceful lying there. Don't. Please. That blood is on my hands, not yours. You coward!
blood to spill today. I hope you don't mind, but I had Chase shadow you. She saw you entering and leaving the Nucleus. So, what was in my memory banks? Are we closer to resolving the conflict on this island peacefully? I have a memory of yours about a nuclear launch key. You knew how to detonate the sub in the Nucleus all along. Give me a moment. I need to remember for myself. So, I chose to forget the launch key even existed. Poor Confessor Martin. Was I lying to him all that time? The submarine is rusted into the dry dock. The only target that missile is ever going to hit is the base itself. The nucleus. Where the children of Adam live. We have to keep that key out of the wrong hands. The Nucleus has innocent people living there among the zealots threatening Far Harbor. Is the Nucleus even worth saving? Don't judge them by what Confessor Tectus has done. He's used their fears and hatred to turn them into a weapon against Far Harbor. But there's still time to turn them away from that. 
I found the launch key already. Make sure it's never used. Thank you. Was there anything else in my memories? Some way we can work towards peace? One of your memories was about a kill switch you installed to shut down power to Far Harbor and let the fog take them. It's all here on this holotape. Let me see this. I remember. I was afraid that Far Harbor might turn against us. See us as too different for their precious island. So I made a contingency plan. Mass murder. I hid the kill switch code because I couldn't stomach the thought of actually using it. Then I hid the memory. Because I couldn't even stand knowing I made it. What have I done? If the children of Adam were to ever get a hold of that code, they would destroy Far Harbor. Relax. Don't worry, Dima. I already have the code. Our harbor is safe. Good. Now we just need to find some way to end this conflict. Have you found anything else in my memories? Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth so you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a synth's identity from her and made her an agent. Why did you do it? I needed to calm Far Harbor. A moderate voice. An example of what humanity should be. How we could exist together as equals. But I couldn't live with the memories of the blood on my hands. A human and a synth are both gone because of me. Let's be practical. How do we proceed from here? You're right. We have to focus on what has to be done now. Is that what you call justice? Because I sure don't. I'm... starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They'd come after Acadia, and then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth must remain hidden. So you did all of that on your own? No one else in Acadia is involved? What I've done goes against all of our ideals. I even hid it from myself. So, no, there can't be anyone else. I'll keep your secret, Dima. Thank you. Maybe the... guilt... will keep me focused. That didn't seem to stop him before. As horrifying as it might be to suggest, this memory you've recovered has... given us a new option. If Far Harbor could be made more... tranquil by our intervention, then perhaps the same trick will work twice on the children of Atom. We could replace High Confessor Tectus with someone willing to forgive Far Harbor and work towards reconciling. There must be another way we could make things right. None that I can see. The authority of the High Confessor is absolute. The children of Atom won't see the need for peace unless he changes his mind. All right. Tell me what your plan is. This will be difficult for both of us, but I think it's our only option. I'll need you to leverage your access to the High Confessor 
and lure him to a secluded location. You should be able to find a spot in the Bay's old command center, where you can deal with him discreetly and hide the remains. Once your work is done, return here and the replacement will move in and take command. You really think you can get together a convincing replacement? Yes. Helping synths recover what they've lost means we've had to become familiar with memory wipes and facial reconstruction. And I knew Tectus very well when I was still living in the submarine base. I'll use that as the basis for our replacement's new memories. You simply need to deal with the real Confessor Tectus while I... Prepare a volunteer. Okay. I'll do it. Any ideas on how I can get him alone? Tectus lives in fear of being usurped by his predecessor, Martin. Despite that, in all likelihood, Martin is dead. But if you somehow uncovered evidence of Martin's imminent return, I expect Tectus would be interested hearing all you know in private. All we have to do is manufacture Martin's uprising. To do so, I'll need raw material. Martin recorded many of our conversations. Those in the nucleus have certainly been destroyed, but I built a small refuge for Martin many years ago when he needed respite from the family. Go there and collect any tapes you can find I'll begin work on our replacement. And here, I want you to have this as well, for what you've done for us. 